Hi, this is Sweet June. How's everybody doing today? Just getting off of work. It's Wednesday morning. Um, if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Um, I'm only going to say, I'm, you know, um, I'm only going to say this one more time or talk about um, this one more time and then after that I'm not I'm gonna leave it alone um I want to do another message to strong mommy Chrissy um like I said this is the last time addressing her or any other mothers on here pretty much well I don't know if I should say the last time but um I, as far as this you know, um, what I'm gonna talk about, I, I don't know, I'm not, might not go there no more, because at this, at that point, at this point, it, I probably should just be shaking the dust off my boots, you know, um, so to speak, you know, um, spiritually shake the dust off my boot, boots, um, um, This channel that Strong Mommy Chrissy has, uh, I can't watch it. It's not appropriate. I try to stay away from that kind of stuff. I try to stay away from um, rated R <laughs> I, I, as much as I can, you know. And it's just not, uh, I try to keep my entertainment wholesome as much as possible. And I just don't think it, it's an appropriate thing for me to be watching you know, you know, uh, it's not appropriate, you know, as a Christian, I probably shouldn't be watching it. So, I mean, I tried not to watch, you know, and, um, not just for that reason, but because when you are, when you're trying to abstain, um, the thing about abstaining is when you you're trying to abstain, you want to stay away. Cause at the end of the day, it don't make no difference whether you, what religion you in or or how much of a christian you say you are or um just keep it in 100 at the end of the day we dust and we're human at the end of the day we're all human beings you at the at the end of the day you're going to be human you're human and so it doesn't matter you know um if you are pre you say you are priest or, or even if you say you are none now you know nuns you know they on us they are they straight up on the up and up you know um and even nuns you know is human at the end of the day they're human and so uh we're all human at the end of the day no matter how much we try to we say we we saved uh well you're not saved to endure in the end but no matter how much we we, we try to say we are christian and serving god and and notice i said the word try Try is the key word because that's all we can do is try. <laughs> at the end of the day, we're still human. I'm still human. And I, you know, fleshly desires don't go away just because you say you're trying to serve God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In this case, I'm just I'm just keeping it 100. Those, those things don't go away, you know? I mean, at least not for me, you know? Um, I've just learned, um, over time because I am abstaining, um, I've trained myself to not, um, think about it. Like in the beginning, when I first started abstaining, it was very difficult. Um, I thought about sex all the time and, you know, um, now I just, I'm more disciplined, so to speak, you know, and I have a closer relationship with God too. So that helps too, you know, because the closer you get to God, then the closer your relationship grows with him, the more he helps you in that area. And, and, and the stronger you get spiritually, and you, once you get strongly spiritually, then you can, get, you can gain, you know, kind of get a little Holy Spirit going on in you, and then you can gain control over a lot of things. So I pretty much done trained myself to not be marinating on it like that 
and stuff like that. And, um, you know, keeping my thoughts pure. And in doing that, I just try to focus on spiritual things. I just think about spiritual things a lot. I, 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 you know, meditate on the scriptures. And even if I'm not reading the scriptures, I'm meditating on them in my mind and thinking about it. And I try to always kind of stay in a spiritual mindset at all times. Um, but with that being said, but when you, when you're trying to abstain, you, you try to stay away from those things. You, not only is it a sin to, uh, watch pornography or, or anything like that, but you also have to not, when you're trying to abstain, you, you can't, because then it, it, it puts you in that mind frame, you know, and then, you know, so, and you don't want to get yourself worked up, so to speak. You know, that's not a good thing. So, um, this is too inappropriate, you know. It would be the best thing for me to not watch it. But, um, I don't know. I just, you know, um, I care about the mommies on here, you know. I, you know, I really... I'm really, I'm kind of worried about that situation with her because she's, you know, these random guys she, she's hooking up with, you know, it's, we're living in some dangerous times and, um, you know, she, I hope she don't run into no killer or nothing like that. And, you know, I'm really, really concerned. Um, but the only thing I, I'm going to say is uh, I know that when, um, under she put they they like she put a picture on there of the video and then I read the comic section and I read the comic section of that picture and um advertising the video and that people were saying you know you need to um a lot of people was she had a lot of people she had more people saying she needs to stop and all that. And one lady really got a fine witness into her and all that. And so she had a few people coming on there saying, well, you go Chrissy and all that. But most people was, was saying, girl, you need to stop this. You got kids. And, and, um, the only thing I can say to Chrissy is right now is Chrissy, you have daughters. You have daughters there, babe. You got daughters. And when you have daughters, even with sons, you have to be careful um, how you carrying yourself, how you conducting yourself. Her oldest children are old enough to look on YouTube and, and see the video. And she has daughters. She's got a preteen daughter there. And you don't want her to go out there and emulate because children do what they they do what they see you know they emulate you know you she wouldn't want her daughter going out there doing trying to do what she doing you know what I'm saying saying because you know they are they get you send the message to them that if you're doing it you send the message to them that it's okay and it's not okay so um it's like Chrissy, you have daughters there. You you have daughters, and and we have to as mothers, we have to lead by example. That's why I had to change. Um, I had to make changes in my life because I didn't want my sons to be seeing me with random guys, and I didn't want my sons to be thinking, you know, that's that's how a man's supposed to treat a woman. He's supposed to just use a woman and just go about his business. You know, I didn't want my sons to grow up thinking that that's how women should be treated. And so I, you know, and so even with boys, you have to be careful because boys are very impressionable too, because if they see their mom acting in a certain way and conducting herself in, in that way, then they, they start objectifying women, you know, and they might go, grow up and not have any respect for women because of that you know there's a lot of men walking around here now with their head all messed up because and they get into relationships and they can't sustain a relationship with a woman because they had a a a, a toxic relationship with their mother their mother they grew up and their mother was a certain way and 
they they're looking at all women like that because the mother is the first woman in a boy's life and so what the mother does is going to be a reflection of how it's going to be determine how he feels about women from that point forward so not only is she doing what she doing is detrimental to her girls it's also going to be detrimental to her sons and she's already raising them without a father in the home and that in itself is going to be detrimental and so and then when she's out here and she's saying that oh I'm making money and and um she was already making money with her cooking channel and her regular family channel I don't I don't understand. I mean she was she's already making money with those two channels. Why does she need this other channel? And it's like she's further exploiting herself. She's exploiting herself. Um and it's just not good. It's not good. What message is she sending to her daughters? Is she sending the message that this is okay to her daughters? You know? With with the children go to school and if they they her classmates see her doing these things with her her children um get teased for see all these all the questions that she should be thinking about because it's not just her if she was just single and by herself then i guess it wouldn't make no difference but you you she's got children you know you got children chrissy and what you do is going to be a reflection on them it's, it's going to bring reproach on it's going to be reproach on them and so it's just, it's just not, it's just not good. It's just not good. Um, she, you're out of the will of God. I mean, you know, I'm not, I don't mean to sound preachy, but you're out of, you're out of the will of God and it's just not good. It's just not, it's immorality. You know, it, it, it's, it just, as a mother, um, I'm I'm a little worried because I don't want her to run up on the wrong guy and and he crazy or or you know it's it's just not good you know I don't know what's going on with Chrissy um maybe she might need some type of therapy or I don't know but all I can say babe it's not good it's not good spiritually what you're doing um, if you're trying to, like I said in my other video, if you're trying to fill some type of void, that is not the way to go. It's it's not that's not gonna work because you, you you're gonna wind up feeling empty inside, lonely, and then you're gonna be feeling ashamed and disgraced on top of that. It's it's not good. Um, nothing good comes out of committing immorality. Nothing good comes out of it. You could catch a fatal disease. You can catch AIDS. Um, a condom doesn't protect against everything. And they, a condom doesn't protect against herpes. You can get the herpes virus. Um, you can catch AIDS, HB, the H was HPV or whatever. That new one they got off. Um, and we have a coronavirus. The coronavirus is. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't understand what's going on with her. I don't know. It, it, I, I'm not trying to talk about her, but. I don't know if she's not thinking about this stuff and and it's like babe if if something happens to you what's going to happen to your children what's going to happen to your your babies if something happens to you your mother she's sickly she can't take them on she can't take care of those babies because she's sickly so what's going to happen if something happens to you you know those babies, that's going to change their life forever. So, I mean, I just think that you should be more mindful of what you're doing because you have children. Everybody, a lot of people in the in, in the comic section of her videos was saying um, they didn't, they liked for her, they liked her channel the way it was, her other channel and, uh, and the cooking channel, they enjoy it. I tuned, I didn't tune in for, um, I, I I like the family channels. I don't tune in for all that old other stuff. I mean, if I want to watch that, I know where to go. But I I didn't tune in for all that, you know. Um. And and a lot of other people are saying the same thing, you know. 
And I just think that I think you know, and she's saying I'm making money. Well, all money's not good money. All money ain't good money, babe. You 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 